How dare I update? Yeah, I know. We gotta blame Microsoft. Alright. So here's 2B and 9S in the refugee camp. We're ready to go. Um, this was the person, like, the... The helper, this strange resistance woman, has the uh, the developer, the creative director, Yokotaro's um, mask on. All right, so this guy's the weapon trader. We need to get him a servicing device so that he can sell weapons. And then someone else wanted us to go do something. Oh, I never even noticed the treasure chest. Couldn't watch for a while work and stuff. It's how it goes. So this is the main person from the resistance camp. She's the one that sent us off on like a police chase around the camp to talk to people. Yo, what up, Jukebox? Gonna drop a lurk. Well, enjoy, my friend. I hope the podcast goes well. Buying a chip to use auto healing, also a good call. Get all the freebies we can around here and then you also wanted me to do something is it correct maybe not maybe she was ready to go all right so let's see you sell storage upgrades you don't sell what i need i don't have any more because i blowed up my old body oh that makes way more sense why i was getting it in the beginning of the tutorial I'm like a fundamentally different 2B now, huh? If I make it back to where I died, I can pick him up. Wait, I can visit my body from the tutorial? I can't access that right now, that's right. All right, so let's check quests. So the weapon dealer wanted us to go kill machines to get complex gadgets so he can make his tool. And then the supply trader needs a small gear and a broken circuit. The resistance camp tool uh, shop can't make plug-in chips due to machine failure. As the only has bad legs, he needs someone to gather the necessary materials to fix his equipment. So do I get that, like, on a map? We do. Okay. Ooh, how do I navigate the map? Yeah, the music's a bop, Afterlife. You are 100% correct. Okay, so we do get supply traders requests, weapon dealers requests, question mark? All right, cool. So we can scram on out of here and see about doing these quests. Change angle and zoom on the map as well. I mean, the big halos were pretty helpful. The world is filled with cleverly disguised access points, which can be used for the following. They unlock map info. They unlock a save area, a white area on the map, which allows you to save your game in the system menu as long as you're close enough. You find your access point, if you find an access point under attack by enemies, destroy them all to reactivate the terminal. So it's very similar to what we did when we first got to... This must have been quite a city once camp. upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claimed most of it now. I'm sorry, start fishing? Operator 6-0 to 2-B. It is time for your regularly scheduled contact. This is 2B. Nothing to report. Good to hear. Say, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? It's fine. Does it's that question lovely. have anything to do it with our great. operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. <laughs> that is so like you, 2B. Anyway, talk to you later. Man, 2B, not one for small talk. She's made that pretty clear. Excuse me? I can't, really? I can't go through that? You would up stealth. <laughs> that was awfully catty for someone uh, who works for an organization where emotions are prohibited. She didn't sound very prohibitively emotionatory. Emotive? I think that's what I wanted. All right, so these are apparently the guys we're supposed to thwomp at to get the stuff for our quests. It really is quite lovely. Really? Oh, I mean, I punched the shit out of this, uh, old piece of building concrete. 
It'll never forget the day 2B came by. Yeah, you're right, because I just tried to use a heavy attack and nothing happened. I wound up doing martial arts instead. Alright, that's the stuff from Supply Trader's quests. Kicks are powerful, though. We're just gonna main okay, kicks now. Okay, that's everything the supply trader asked for. Oh shit, you weren't kidding. What up? Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The, the resistance is a valuable ally to Yorha. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, yeah. All right, we restore terminals. This one's already restored, apparently. I guess I only have to restore them if they're under attack. Otherwise, they're just good to go. Copper ore? I don't know what all that does. I think we saw a treasure chest up here, too, when I started undertaking that fight. Somewhere up towards the edge of this. But where was it? Hi, Moose. Maybe not. Maybe I've seen things. They've really nailed the, like, kind of desolate, overgrown, earth taken back by nature kind of a look. That's normally something that's pretty hard to do. So the other one is over there? No, it's over here. How do I get to it? It wouldn't let me crawl through that building. Oh, boy. Oh, here's an item. I hope the game's running a little bit more smoothly. I just went and kind of tweaked a couple of settings. I looked into that um, mod that you were discussing, Afterlife, but I don't think I need it now that they've released the, the new update patch, um, but we'll see. We'll have to kind of play it by ear. friends i would love to thank you it's funny this that is the, the place that weapons trader was talking about uh -oh. walk walk i'm picking up trees. hostile machine life forms Yo. Some of us got axes. <laughs> video freeze it didn't freeze for me uh-oh why is this game doing this? Yeah, I'm dropping a ton of packets all of a sudden. Well, if I can't get the uh, video settings to work with my hardware, guys, we might not be able to do this. That would be a Let me know if it calms down. I'm almost worried that it's happening when I get into combat because the game is so frantic. That should be enough. Let's get these back to the trader. I agree, Ninas. Plant life has claimed most Welcome of the central back, area. Jackson. Hopefully, you are getting better video feed than everyone else seems to be getting. What if I do? Big plants, too. Right. Report. Records show that we'll vegetation has stuff. grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. That sounds like foreshadowing. It sounds like 9S is about to explain to me about how we're going to fight some large boars. Alright. I like this little uh, waterfall from what used to just be a little colder, it looks like. Huh. And 
that misses right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So these were like little tutorial quests to be like, hey, this is how you do a quest for someone. Might be while well in combat. Well, we'll see if the combat's any improved once I get another combat after tweaking those settings. Oh, you're right. We splashed some wet up onto our boots. I think this should be enough to fix your broken device. Well, how do you like that? Looks like I'm back in business. Good to hear. You know it. I make these weapons to keep my friends safe after all. Although sometimes I wonder, what if my weapons are just making my friends die all the faster? That's pretty morbid, bro. At least 2B agrees with me. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Anyway, come back in a little while, all right? I should have some new gear for you then. All right, and we'll get you all hooked up. Hey, you found the materials. That's great. Now I can start upgrading and crafting items for you. I imagine you can spare a few of these supplies to fix your leg. Yeah, no. Why don't you tell us what's really going on? See, it's my left leg that's all busted up. My left leg is the one that's fully original. I've repaired this old body of mine a hundred times over during this war. I've swapped parts in and out so many times I can't even keep track. But this leg, this left leg, it's never been touched. So if I go and replace that, what happens? I mean, would I even be me anymore, or would I just... Anyway, it's my own problem. Didn't mean to trouble you with it. I should be getting more inventory soon, so swing by when you can. So we got medium recovery, amber, warp wire, some experience, some gill. Looking good. So that's like the old, if you replace every part of a ship, is it still the same ship? I guess that would be kind of an existential issue for, uh, for an android. Hey, it's you. Yeah, I haven't left yet, weapons trader. Oh, I almost forgot. I still owe you a reward. I wanted to say thanks for helping me get things up and running again. So I whipped you up some upgrade materials. Beautiful. Crystal, red clumps, beast hides, all the goodies. Uh, yes, I would love to try them out, sir. Upgrade. Interesting. Okay, so we upgrade our weapons just with stuff we find out and about. This looks to be a pretty considerable upgrade, too. Come to me whenever you need help with your weapons. Yo, what up, Wiggers? Dying Light was really good. We're not um, we're not done with it. I'm gonna wind up playing through the expansion, um, the the following, uh, but we're gonna do that in conjunction with Nier. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Oh, hey. I actually have a request for you as well. There have been lots of reports of dangerous machines appearing in the desert recently. This is very unusual, so it may be indicative of something bigger. Now, I, I hear you Yorha types are pretty good at examining things. You think you can look into this whole mess for me? Sure, we do that. Thanks, I knew I could count on you. I'll tell our allies in the desert that you're coming. Be careful out there, okay? Anemone, do you know that you're a main character in this resistance village because you have a cool cape? As if to prove my point, this resistance member literally didn't say anything. Alright, so we have a date in the desert, it would appear. Pod 042 to operator. Coordinates confirmed for location specified by resistance leader. Understood, 042. Placing marker on target. The desert heat is going to make resupply efforts difficult, to be. Please make sure you're ready before you go. I haven't never played it. Would you recommend? Yeah, I thought it was fun. I would say um, that it's worth getting into, especially if you have buddies who are going to play with it, uh, because co-op is apparently even more fun than the fun I had with it single player. Uh, but I really liked it. It's definitely worth looking at maybe even um, some information about like must have upgrades and stuff because I did find combat pretty frustrating in the beginning before I got some like quintessential upgrade stuff on it uh, but it was a blast once I had the good stuff yeah and Jackson knows what's up Jackson is a dying light aficionado what is my mind? everything's coming off the tracks tonight the game won't run right something in my eye there's machine life forms taking over the desert oh we got mail it said too right 
How do I check that? Or is that only at save points? I think that's only at save points. Maybe go over the road first? What do you mean? I think there might be one right here. Maybe that's what this question mark was. Is this one that's under attack? Sure is. Alert. Access point there. communications jammed. There was something I forgot to mention prior to your sortie. According to our analysis team, the equipment that was lost when breaking into the abandoned factory is still there. I've marked its estimated location, so be sure to pick it up next time you're in the area. Oh, so it's the the red hot tip that Afterlife had just given me. I think Afterlife might work for your hop. Got it. By the way, guys, uh, first of all, thank you for spamming the Let's Go's. That always makes me so happy. I did do some maintenance in the emotes and switched a couple things in, just some new art styles that I've been goofing around with. So if there's an emote that you enjoyed that is suddenly gone, don't panic. It's not gone for good. I was just trying some new stuff. Let's repair and get our buddy here. And then this one... Just a young, uh, a just young boy wasn't in top form at the home of Scrap Iron. Oh, no. They're gonna give me points. <laughs> the animations on these guys are interesting. Like they look like big clunky robots. Like they look like original made in a cave iron man armor um but they're actually pretty remarkably elegant oh i can hold it too oh my god afterlife you just changed the game for me that's gonna be so much easier all right you just want to make sure i don't have any gameplay fatigue because you're hoping i'll play like a nine hour stream of it. Yes, this is the Steam version, Jackson. Oh, what is this? Oh, sure. You're from Yorha, right? I've heard about you guys. We've got a squad mate waiting in a rocky stretch up ahead. Head on over. Just remember that there's nowhere to resupply out there. If you need anything, best to take care of it here while you can. What can I help you with? Why do you have voice lines but other traders don't? That's what I want. Sound waves? Display a sound analysis graph? That's bonkers. XP bar is expensive. We don't really need it. These are all HUD ones. Fishing spots. All right, hold up. That might need to get purchased. Oh, auto attack, auto fire. We don't need those. Down attack up. Oh, so, okay. We do get into ones of these that are just like um, straight up equipment. Avoid stagger after hits if the HP is up to 80%. Move towards an enemy attack with perfect timing to counter it. Animal bait. How to limits a scent. Okay, so none of these are things I want right now. That's the second time they said make sure you're ready. I get it. I get it. Stuff's gonna happen. Oh, is that in a different direction, the stuff I dropped? So this is to get to the desert thing. Where's the stuff I dropped? That seems wicked far away, if anywhere. I don't even see it. I see a bunch of red dots. 
This seems like it would be the abandoned factory over here, though. We can make a little detour. You want to head over there? I guess that's the advantage of an open world game, right? Is sometimes you just decide to go do something crazy. Well, the zoom issue isn't the problem I have not finding it, though. It's because I don't have the map segments unlocked, so I don't know actually where anything is. Because you're right, they did seem to be interested in telling me, like, hey, you should go get your old gear. Wink, wink. Um, so if I go all the way down here, it looks like maybe we can turn right at the end of this. City ruins near the factory. That seems promising. Yeah, I. she said she marked it on the map, but I'm thinking that maybe we'll have to, like, get to where it is before we see it. Like, maybe I have to uncover that portion of the map. It looks like I can get up on this road, maybe, and run over there. That's my guess, anyway. Because they have provided... I still can't open these, right? That's fine. Okay. Tree seed obtained. I think that comes in on the way my HUD is set up. I think that's going to land right above my webcam. So you guys should still be able to see the items I pick up. Also make sure I know how to use a healing item manually. Isn't it down? Yes. We'll use one just so that I can test the theory. Alright, so this is gonna drop me into the old factory, it looks like. Yeah, 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 because here's all the like girders and stuff. So this is literally just where I was for the tutorial. Boy, are these guys gonna be pissed. I'm back for my shit. You guys don't even know what to do for it. on you. Good day, sirs. Oh, wait. Do I actually have to activate this to fix it? I should do that. Yes. Because then we get the map info. All right. Definitely worth visiting as many of those as possible. Yeah, it looks like left and right on the D-pad changes my pods activity. And the up and down is for me to use my healing items. So is this my stuff? Yo, let's go! Get my sweet-ass big katana back. Virtuous Atreidi. Wait, is this our bodies? Oh yeah, look at that. This is my body specifically. Love it. Auto use items one obtained. All right, so we should be able to equip that stuff, right? First of all, weapons. Give me virtuous treaty, please. All right, so contract and treaty re-equipped back in business. Combos are affected by when you switch to have attack and back to normal oh switching back and forth between like light and heavy you mean you have to do different combos that you can learn to do consistently okay um let's see here we still have room in our bandwidth so auto use item one there we go there we go all right cool back in business with both of our cool swords. I assumed that with it being a game by Platinum that eventually this combat was just gonna get bad shit. So I am somewhat prepared for such an eventuality. Get my free copper or whatever. Let's go explore through here for a second since we're over here. Without 
it being like on a big aggressive time. trying to switch between them and combos and it's disastrous at first. controller if I was going to do that though. I find that the PlayStation controller is much better than the Xbox controller is. Like I can't leave it up my rusted clump. You guys know how much I love a good rusted clump. stupid when we get all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> really good in here. I don't know why I didn't notice this when we were first headed down. Poor 9S has no hope at running as fast as 2B. I feel like after the games you want to complete, a Minecraft playthrough would be pretty cool. Minecraft is on uh, the backlog. That's actually one of the games that I've thought about doing a couple of times, so that's something that certainly will be making an appearance at some point. I've played Minecraft a lot over the years, like casually with my wife and her family, um, but it's nothing that I've ever played like a lot super heavily and you know, kind of in a community building stance than when we play the game in the Underdragon kind of setup. So I would probably play it fairly vanilla-esque and try and like but thank you, that's a really good suggestion. Oh, God. 
Weirdly, the combat doesn't suffer from it, though. Like, the combat's still very satisfying when you're fighting that way. Which is pretty impressive. Sorry, James 2, who's John Galt. I am like 100% relying on the concept of the old go back to the start of the game Easter egg here. I'm really hoping that I don't wind up super upset about it. Yes, keep walking forward, dummies. while I'm doing that. Yeah, you're right. If nothing else, the experience and the drops I'm getting wind up at least being worth something, right? I do hope there's some kind of a fast travel to get me home, though, if we get down here and it's really good. Uh. Now, the way I, like, break dance with my sword is pretty bananas. Why are you floating in space, item? Alright, this one's lost to us for all time. Wait, wait a minute. I see the bee pop up ever so- Yes! Told you guys, nothing I won't do for a rusted plump. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the special attack on the pot. I should be put that to use. So is all the, the clumps and the ore and stuff that I'm finding, is that just like upgrade materials? Or is there something else I would use this stuff for eventually? Yo, what up, card shark? Welcome in, buddy. So this is where we fought that first like buzzsaw arm. After we broke out of our flight suit. Ooh, some gold ore. Apparently I ran all the way back to get some gold ore. Can't climb up this. You can sell it and use it for quests and for upgrades. Okay, so it's just like generalized goodies. That makes sense. All right, let's check the old mapper here. First of all, this doesn't need to be a custom marker anymore. How do I remove the marker? This is the one in the resistance camp. But it does not appear as though I have a way to just teleport. Maybe if we find one of them, if I get back to the most recent one, will it maybe let me go back up to the station? I mean, I guess if all the enemies are dead, it's not like it takes that long for me to run back. This game is very interesting. Um, you know, uh, several of you have talked about how good the uh, soundtrack is. And I'm noticing something that you wouldn't really expect given kind of like, especially right now when this like brutal industrialist kind of a setting, um, everything's got that apocalyptic vibe to it. But like the music is always very peaceful and calming and relaxing. Like it's definitely not the soundtrack I would have anticipated. Shortcuts and stuff. Well, if you see a shortcut that I don't, make sure you let me know. Although 
although, like I say, 2B does run hella fast. Outside. All right, hang on. Let me go back up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just more excuse for 2B to run really fast. There are places to jump off of the road. I'm sure there's a point at which I will stop doing that, but like... So here's an item that we missed. I forgot about this item. We got this the first time we played through. Got him. The delayed explosion was really weird. this back. So I can jump off. No, I can't jump off that round. Ah, to the crane. Jump towards the camera. Well, it got me a large recovery from my trouble. You'd love to see that. Ooh, what does this do? So this is what we were here previous, right? This is where, yeah, so this is where I can kind of go from that original saw fight. But now I can get out. I can't do anything about going this way. It's just for getting out of it. Okay. But that gets me back up here way faster. Cool. And then this. Where does this send me? Yo, never has anyone climbed down a ladder as cool or as fast as 2B just did. Is this the end of... Sorry, I'm just trying to get my bearings on what these shortcuts actually unlocked. This is the end of the long hallway where you have to fight the five or six dudes. Where they're like clogging up the hallway in a big semicircle. Okay, cool. That's interesting. So, like, how often. Am I backtracking all the way to places like this if they have two condensed shortcuts right here in the beginning? Oh, thanks so much, Andy, for dropping by. I appreciate you, buddy. Did I see you were playing Apex tonight? If so, I hope all the victories of yours fucked. Enjoy. And the darker area after the first room looked for side paths. Am I already past it, Afterlife? 2B runs too fast for me to keep up with your directions. We should get back to doing something story-wise for now, and we'll backtrack and do some stuff over here some night, kind of like at the end of the stream or something. We should get to the desert and uh I shot the wrong direction. <laughs> the resistance can't be so hard. I 
will say the environment's like, at least in this zone, the kind of factory setting here, the switching of the camera that he does over and over does make it kind of hard because you wind up seeing each room at two or three different angles pretty often, um, which can make it kind of hard to set yourself up for landmarks and such because you just like you don't you don't know exactly where you are. It is nice to have both my weapons and stuff back, so this detour is definitely worth it before we progress with the story. 